they might have you and 30 other people on the hook. Hey everyone, uh, welcome back to another video. This video is going to be about military romance scams, military dating scams, and what you should know to look out for. This is coming from someone who is in the military. We do get bluffs about this all the time. Um, you know, warning even us military members uh, to be careful and cautious because there's a lot of scams out for you and there's a lot of scams out for us. So it most definitely uh, works both ways. Uh, let's talk about some of the first couple of things. Uh, you're going to get on these dating sites and you're going to start, you know, talking to this uh, pretty guy or pretty gal almost immediately with scammers. Um, they're going to be very upfront with you. They'll be very upfront with you, professing their love. You know, maybe saying things that you would never normally say on a normal, like, relationship or just like I have first meeting status online. Their grammar, too. And this is what I've noticed is their grammar. So if they say, you know, that you start talking to them and everything is normal, but you notice their grammar is off. Uh, so Americans, you know, we're pretty normal when we text i would say i guess normal for us is we don't like gap words or words will be mistyped or misspelled or almost not in english grammar um and it's very noticeable i can notice it if someone's like talking to me uh in you know in my past like like ah eh, your grammar's off there's something wrong here you know that should like a red flag immediately so you really need to watch for that grammar and the, a lot of these scammers are are going to be really apt not to show you their picture or they're going to steal pictures off of someone else's instagram facebook twitter snapchat thriller tiktok you name it whatever app you can you can throw out there they're taking all that uh, information. Uh, they steal all these pictures, right? They data mine from these military members that they're taking from, you know. So a lot of times, if they've taken their picture, they've probably found their Facebook, their phone numbers, their emails, you know, their names, their ages, you know, where they live, where they've lived before. It's not hard. The, the World Wide Web is right there for everyone. So it is very easy to think you're talking to someone that's legitimate, but they're not. Now, I will tell you this. Most there's a lot of military members that cannot video chat and let's touch base on that real quick uh, So the members that cannot video chat a lot of times they can be on a Navy ship or an army ship or a marine Right, they can go on ships. They don't have internet. They can't connect with you They can't they simply cannot video chat uh, the most you can get out of them. Maybe is a Facebook message yeah, that's probably about it because I know personally when I'm out to sea, unless you have internet, you can't transfer a, a picture over to your email to even send to anybody. Um, however, you can sometimes uh, jump on Facebook and send a message, but most of the time they work through email. Uh, so if there is a sailor, marine, army personnel, and they're on a ship, uh, you, it's going to be hard to video chat, and that very well might be a legitimate excuse of why they they can't video chat you. Um, however, if they're really uh, apt to not give you their name or not give you a picture or not give you their Facebook or social media, Instagram, you know, uh, that could be a tall tale sign uh, that someone is lying to you. Um, because if they are single, they're not married, they don't have kids, they don't have any baggage, they don't have anything to hide, then why not? You know, there's nothing wrong with uh, talking and flirting and and being young and or or old whatever whoever wants to use a dating app uh, you know there's nothing wrong with uh, seeing what's out there okay um, but you really need to make sure you know who you're talking to and uh, that's a big one because I know we get a lot of questions about like how did me and Jessa meet how did you know that I wasn't a scammer um, you know how did I know that Jessa wasn't a scammer because like I said you know military is targeted a lot and um, but it works, it works both ways. It works both ways. You know, we're both being targeted by uh, different groups, different people. And I tell you what, one of the biggest, the biggest no-brainers, if they are asking for money, there's something wrong. That should be a huge red flag. And let me just 
let me just say this straight out. Do not give any money to anyone unless they're family. Okay, unless you know them or you're your best friend and you consider them family, don't do it because they're probably a scammer, especially on a dating app. I mean, remember, you have Instagram, Plenty of Fish, Bumble, uh, Scout, Meet Me. You got all these crazy apps, right? And they're, they have a plethora of scammers that are, and they make a lot of money because people are naive typically and they fall for it, you know? They'll start talking to you, being sweet, saying really nice things, maybe send you a picture, to, picture or two to keep you on the line, right? It's like a... It's like a you know like a fishing pole, right? Keep you on the line, um, keep you at you know at a distance, but keep roll, uh, reeling you in until they feel comfortable enough to say, "Hey, I would really like to see you. Can you send me, you know, five hundred dollars or, you know, two thousand pesos or wherever you are in the country, uh, whatever your currency is? Can you send me this money so I can come and see you?" Um, and there's a lot of red flags there. They, they you should not be doing that. Uh, try to video chat. Try to get pictures, try to talk to them, try to get their uh, social media. You know, do your due diligence and do your background research to protect you. That's the main thing. You can, you can figure out if uh, the person you're talking to is real, you're golden. But your main priority is to protect yourself. And that's going to be a huge one. Um, don't let them send you money. Don't let them send you jewelry. Don't give your address out. My gosh, do not give your personal information out to these people, okay? Because you don't know who they are. So it is not uncommon for people to use fake names until they feel comfortable. You know, once you feel comfortable, it's not a big deal. Uh, so like for me and Jessa, we talked for, you know, a couple weeks and exchanged pictures and I got our social media and we understood that I was not fake and she was not fake. So it made, it made our communication a, a much better. Um, now, if she would have been like, oh, I'm not going to video chat you. And if I was to say, oh, I can't video chat, even though you know I am not on a ship and I'm not currently deployed and I have internet, I'm perfectly capable. There's probably would have been something wrong with me, right? Um, so don't let them fool you. Uh, there, there's a lot of people out there that, that'll try to fool you. And remember, these, these individuals are very smart. This is their day job. They scam for a living. So they might have you and 30 other people on the but hook. If you right. send $10 and you send $10 and this person sends 20, these people are making an income scamming people that are too naive to do their research on who they're talking to, okay? So I'm not saying, you know, go out and be an investigator here and be detective, you know, whatever your name is. But, um, you know, you do have to protect yourself and there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. And you could tell these people that too. be like, OK, yeah, if you're real, you know, you know, please, you know, send me a picture. Let me get your Facebook or social media account. But and go through the go through that social media account and look at the dates. You know, if you get a brand new Instagram up. Right. And there is only one date, but there's multiple pictures. Hmm. Red flag, right? Uh, so if you have, you can kind of see the inconsistencies when someone something doesn't add up. Their Facebook it says joined recently. Hmm. That's probably not accurate, right? If they've joined recently, their Instagram has like pictures, but on the same dates, those are all red flags. Be very very careful. Um, so do your due diligence. Look into the people uh, you're trying to talk to. And uh, before you give any personal information out, just be very careful uh, on what you do. And uh, so going back to the military side of the house, um, there are a lot of military members that can't video chat, okay? And, and this is perfectly normal for us. Sometimes we're, we're, you know, unavailable to video chat or where we, you know, have our phones or not allowed to go up and video chat. Um, however, those are few and far between. Unless you're on an airplane deployed or on a, sh uh, you know, deployed somewhere possibly where there's no internet or you're on a naval vessel um, or a vessel of any type that you're deployed on, um, there really shouldn't be a whole lot of instances where you can't video chat. And if that's the case, then, you know, just simply say, you know, hey, thanks for your time and move on. Because if they're not going to give you the time of the day, then just don't waste your time. There's plenty of of guys and girls out there for you know anyone and uh, nine times out of ten uh, the person that is real will make an effort 
um, if it's if they are real. Another another comment, another telltale sign is going to be like, you've talked to them for 20 minutes, and they're like, I miss you, I love you, I need you, I want you, I can't wait to see you, and this is like 10 minutes into your initial conversation. Uh, so that can be a, a huge telltale sign, and I know we've all seen it, and I know we've all had our like assumptions or, you know, you're thinking, I don't know if this person's real. Why are they already telling me they love me and I've only talked to them for 10 minutes, right? That's not normal. It doesn't make sense to do that. Um, <laughs> so uh, watch out for that. So we've covered a few topics on this uh, a quick video. So their grammar, is it off? Are they asking for money? Are they telling you they love you? Um, understand that military sometimes can't video chat, but more than likely they can. So, you know, ask them why they can't. Why can't you video chat with me? Why can't you send me an updated picture? Why does your Instagram have one picture with the same, well, you know, a couple pictures, but they're all the same dates? Why does your Facebook look like you just joined? You know, if they're, if they're, if they're giving you these red, red flags, you know, pump the brakes and uh, do a little more research before you start. Uh, giving them more of your uh, information. Uh, again, protect yourself. Be careful. You know, we're going to be doing more videos like this because the, the military sees this all the time. And I know individuals see this all the time in a world where technology is our future and it is now and it's only progressing. Um, things will get much worse. Scammers are going to get much smarter. So you have to beat the game. You have to outbeat that scammer. You have to be smarter than the game, all right? So the player needs to beat the game here. Um, keep that stuff in mind. Protect yourself. Uh, and don't let something like that, uh, you know, don't, don't let a scammer scam you because I know each and every one of you, just like me, just like Jessa, we work hard for our money. We don't want to be lied to. We don't want to uh, be scammed. Or, and, we, and we don't want to give money to these people people that are just trying to steal from us it's blatant stealing a scammer is stealing from you that's what it is but you just got to be smarter than that person trying to steal from you okay um i hope you like the video please like and subscribe and click the alert button so you know when we post these videos um i'm waiting for a better setup here i'm always recording on my phone so hopefully soon i can get that so the videos can be a little better quality um but thanks for watching mm -hmm.